It's Amy from the Harris Homestead and welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you've been around before. So I am sharing today how to take these flat diapers, these large things, and folding them into this nice pad fold so that you can insert them into your diaper cloth diaper covers, into your all-in-ones, or into your pocket diapers, whichever cloth diapering method you use. I shared recently a video on our minimalist cloth diapering essentials talking all about the cloth diapers we use. We just use covers. We have several different types of covers and then we insert our pad fold into it like this. So if you need to know how to make this flat flimsy thing into this for a boy or a girl, I'm gonna show you both ways. I have a little boy right now, but I'm expecting a little girl. So I'm gonna show you both ways to fold the cloth diaper for either gender. Um, stay tuned because the pictures that you see online are kind of hard to follow along so I'm going to walk you through step by step how to fold this for a boy or a girl. If you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Alright so to get this set up right here we're going to take our flat diaper just lay it out flat and fold it in half. These are a square so it doesn't matter which way you fold it either way. I forgot to mention, you can also use flower sack towels for this. Starting out with a little boy, because I have a little boy, we are going to fold it up about three quarters of the way and then fold it back down. So you want most of the absorbency for a boy at the front, whereas for a little girl, you want it in the middle. So there's a different fold for each gender. So I'll do that one more time for the little boy. I think this uh, the boy method is easier and it's the one I'm most used to. So we're gonna fold it up about three fourths back down. So you have most of the absorbency right here at the top. Then we're going to do a tri-fold. There we go. And then you just insert this flat into your cover or your all-in-one or your pocket diaper or whatever cloth diapering method you use. For a smaller baby, you'll just overlap it as much as you can. You can shrink it down even more. For a small baby, these do get kind of bulky. And you see most of the absorbency is up here at the top for a little boy. All right, girls, start it the same way. I've got to get used to this fold since we are expecting a little girl. Fold it in half. All right, so now we want most of the absorbency here in the middle. So this is the part that looks kind of weird on all of those diagrams. I'm going to do sort of an accordion. So fold it about three fourths up and then fold it back on itself. What you're creating here is this thick part right here in the middle for um, most of the absorbency for a little girl. Then you're gonna fold it in thirds, just, just like the boy fold. So most of the absorbency is here right in the middle for the little girl. One more time. We have it folded in half, fold it up like an accordion and then back on itself two thirds of the way and then fold it back. You have your thickness here in the middle and then fold it one third two-thirds. This will be for a longer older baby. For a little baby you would just fold the accordion part up more and make it really really thick here in the middle so that you're shortening your length. A smaller baby. For a larger baby you would just not have as much of an absorbency here in the middle. So you can adjust the length by just pulling here or here. And that's it, the boy fold versus the girl fold. So here they are side by side. You can see the difference in the absorbency for the boy. It's mostly here at the front and the girl, you have all of most of the absorbency here at the middle. I will have linked the brand of diapers we use, They're so cozy. And then we just insert it into our cover like so. It's that simple. That is how you make this little pad fold for a boy versus a girl and insert it into your cloth diaper. This is helpful to you and a lot easier to follow along than all those crazy diagrams you see online on how to fold a flat diaper. This has been the best diapering method for us. So I hope it gives you some ideas and some encouragement to maybe start cloth diapering on your own. If you have any more questions about cloth diapering or any more ideas for future videos that you wanna see on cloth diapering, please let me know in the comments below. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I post two new videos each week on our homegrown lifestyle at our wholesome homestead. Thank you all so much for watching.